Gotta make sure I get all the penguin poop off. That's me trying to prevent the introduction or spread of organisms and diseases between different ecosystems in Antarctica. This practice is known as biosecurity. In order to avoid the accidental, uh, accidental introduction of uh, invasive species, we set protocols of biosecurity in order to avoid this to happen because as soon as we have an invasive species in a new territory, it's much more difficult to uh, eradicate them. The negative effects on the ecosystems can be catastrophic. Marcelo Flores is a bird scientist and one of the expedition leaders on our trip to Antarctica, making sure we followed biosecurity protocols. The decontamination process started on the ship by cleaning all the gear we were bringing on land. Well, in terms of uh, the consequences, just a, a single seed of, a, let's say, a grass that is brought from any continent can compete and win over the local and endemic plants that we have in Antarctica, and then they can cause extinction of native species in Antarctica. Although there is no conclusive evidence that tourists have introduced non-native species or diseases to Antarctica, there have been cases of invasive species plaguing the islands of South Georgia. And it's a place that it was almost destroyed by the presence of rodents, particularly uh, rats and mice, that probably arrived to the uh, islands by the time that they discovered the island by sailors and also with the whalers, uh, especially in the 19th century. It took them almost a decade to eradicate the rats from South Georgia and the cost was uh, about $15 million. That's why we always say that uh, prevention is much cheaper than eradication. But other than introducing non-native plants or animals, stepping foot in Antarctica without proper biosecurity could lead to spreading zoonotic diseases. Well, avian flu in the current scenario as well, it's a major um, threat for Antarctica because again, most of the animals, most of the species uh, of birds in here and mammals, they've been isolated and they live in an environment that is far away from other areas that they have more chances to get the disease. So in this case, we as, as um, visitors of Antarctica, we can uh, inadvertently can spread the disease. Which means we also have to clean our boots before we leave land and then again before we get on the ship. Because as you saw, we could very easily step in guano, aka penguin poop. And that is penguin poop. So it's always best to follow the leave no trace principles, which include cleaning up after yourself, respecting wildlife, and not taking anything out of its natural habitat. Most of the cases is accidental, and that's are the most difficult ones to eradicate later. 